Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about front matter in Jekyll. Front matter is basically just information that we store about the pages of our site. So all the pages on our Jekyll website are going to have what's called front matter. And basically that front matter will contain certain information about those pages, right? It might contain something like a title or the date the page was written or maybe like the author of the page. So front matter can give us information about each of the pages. Now I want to come over here and right now I just have sort of a basic Jekyll site layout. This was just the, the Jekyll site that got created for me by default when I first created my site. And in here we have one blog post, so it's in this post folder. I'm just gonna open up this blog post and you'll notice that down here we have like the content of the blog post. So this is a markdown file. So all of this uh, information is written in markdown. But then up at the top of this file, we have some special information that looks a little bit different from the actual content and it's delineated using these three hyphens. And this is actually the front matter on our blog post. So front matter is, like I said, information about our blog post, right? So in this case, we're defining like the title of the post, the layout that this post is using, uh, the date the post was written. And front matter can be written in one of two languages, either YAML or JSON. And both of these languages are used to define key value pairs, which is basically what front matter is, it's just variables, right? So we have a key and then we have a, a value over here. So you can either write this in the YAML language or in JSON. Now I wanna demonstrate to you how we can use front matter to display the pages and the posts on our website differently. So over here in my web browser, I just have the home page of my website loaded up. And here in the post section, you'll see that we are displaying this welcome to Jekyll post. So what you'll notice is the Welcome to Jekyll post here is using the title on this blog post page in order to display the post. So if I was to come over here into this title and change it, so I could say like new title. Now over here on the website, the title is gonna be updated. So instead of saying Welcome to Jekyll, it's gonna say new title. I could also update this date. So instead of it being August 24th, let's just say that it's, or September 24th, Let's say that we want it to be August 20th. So over here, when I refresh the page, now the date is gonna change to reflect that. So the theme or the Jekyll theme that we're using is grabbing the information from this front matter and it's using it to display our blog posts on our website. So by modifying the front matter in these pages, you can change the way that they show up on the website. Front matter also plays a part in like the actual URL of the page. So if I click on this uh, blog post right here, you'll notice up here in the URL, it's Jekyll forward slash update 2017 So the URL of the page is actually using the date and it's using these categories down here in order to determine where to actually store our page. So if I was to like modify this category, so instead of update, we'll make it like category two. Now, when I go back and I click on this blog post, you'll notice that the URL changes. So it's now, instead of Jekyll update, it's Jekyll category two. And so that's kind of how you can use front matter to change the way that your website or change the way that the blog posts on your website are displayed and actually how the pages are organized. You can also define custom front matter variables. So in addition to these variables, I could also you know, create my own. So imagine I wanted to create like an author variable here. I could set the author equal to me, set it equal to Mike. Uh, and then you can actually access these front matter variables in your Jekyll layout. So if you want to create like Jekyll layouts and get more into like custom programming and HTML and, and all that stuff, then you can actually access these custom front matter variables from those layouts. But for now, um, that's sort of a little bit beyond the scope of this lesson, but just know that you can eventually create your own custom front matter. So whenever you create a new page, so whether it's a, a like a post, or if we go over here to this about.markdown file, so that's over here on our website, uh, all of these pages, whether they're blog posts or just normal pages like this about page, all of them need 
front matter. So you want to include either YAML or JSON front matter inside of all the pages on your website. And then you can use that front matter, like I said, to display them differently on the actual site. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.